what's going on YouTube so let's continue what we did in the last video uh, after we got system access from uh, SQL injection we're gonna now escalate our privileges into root access so the trick in this video will be um, exploiting a misconfigured or or critically oh, sorry a misconfigured file a critical file actually which is uh, the password file we're going to create our own hash and create a user for us with elevated privileges. Add that user in etc password and bingo, you got your root access. So let's now move on. Okay. So guys, you know, when you, when you start any a system, one of the first steps you should uh, take is enumerating the sensitive files. See what are the permissions for each file. One of these files is the password file or the shadow file. So basically on a regular system, most of the time these files are correctly configured. So if I go to CD, if you see, uh, and let me do, If you see password, and let's grip that. Uh, I think I did some, something wrong. So the grip over here, grip. Okay, so as you can see here, the password file over here has right access. For the current user okay now the current user is unprivileged which means it's regular user okay now if this regular user can edit this file okay it means that we can edit this file okay so basically most of the time this file on a production system has the permissions correctly set okay so this is a ridiculous exploitation we are doing right now but the basic principle behind that is the permissions, guys. So every sensitive file on a system, you need to configure uh, the permissions according to the user. Okay. So given the fact that we can edit this file right now, we're going to create a hash. Okay. So we can create a hash for a password using the open SSL command. So open so password. Minus one, and now we can create salt for this. Salt, it's uh, something uh, part of the uh, uh, cryptography. So salt, uh, it's actually extra security for the password. Uh, let's name the salt Linux. Now we're gonna, we are prompted to put the password. Let's type Linux. Now we're given the hash. Okay. So, if we now, actually, I, I think I created this password before. Let me create another password. Open Excel. So, let's name it Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Okay, so that's a different hash. Now, after creating the hash, we're going to put a user of our own. It doesn't have to be on the system, okay? Just pick up a user from your mind and put that hash with that user along with privilege access. And then we're gonna echo this to the password file. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use echo command over here. And from here, we're gonna say, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, what do you want the user to be? Okay. Let's say AI, no, let's say AI actually. Let's say monkey. And now I'm going to paste the password. So I grab that, including the dollar size. Okay, so zero. This is for the root user. And now you're going to type root, then. Hash, I would say, 
let's echo that to etc password. Oops, what happened? Quit. Okay, exit. I know. So I think I have typed the, the command wrong. So let's reproduce the shell again. So this is from the OS shell. NCLDP. Okay, now let's put uh, the, uh, let's spawn PTY shell, Python. Okay, now let's grab the hash. Our hash is over here. All right, let me, let me grab this, it's better. So echo, till here and then what we're gonna do we're gonna add uh, actually where is the mouse okay root bin bash yep and then we're gonna echo that to etc password Let's make sure everything has been typed correctly. So monkey, the password, uh, the ID is root. Okay, I think we forgot something. I can go back. Here should be root. I'm correct and now we're gonna input I think it's better to uh, select bash instead of sh so let's select in bash etc password okay now let's make sure that our user has been added correctly to the file so cat So monkey has been added with the root privileges. So now let's sue monkey. The password is Linux, right? So Linux, nope. Sue so monkey, monkey. Oh, what was the password? Very ridiculous, I forget that in two minutes. Uh, let's go back. Linux Ubuntu. Okay, so Ubuntu. Okay. ID is root. Okay, guys, it's very simple, very easy. Actually, it's shockingly easy, okay? But maybe you um, reinforce the concept of configuring the sensitive files correctly on the system and appropriating the right permissions for the right users. Thank you, guys, and see you in the next video.